Saturday. <laughs> a long run day. Amy's got a four miler, so we'll run the first two together. Feeling kind of nervous. This is going to be uh, 90 minutes for me. So, uh, yeah. Which is weird because it's only like 13 minutes longer than what I ran last Saturday. So it's not really that big of a deal. But, let's start. we're going to get going. Let's start. Okay, that's it. Alright, about halfway through the run. 45 minute mark just ticked. I'm going to have a uh, gel. When I'm out this long, I like to uh, make sure I don't bonk. I've uh, certainly done that many a times. So it just, it's smart for me to keep some uh, energy coming in. I'm at the back side of the Glenwood Loop. Uh, short little eight tenths of a mile single track. Um, this is an interesting spot because this whole thing was created when uh, the big tornadoes swept through uh, North Minneapolis. This is one of the kind of uh, Phoenix rising from the ashes of that really difficult uh, time. But the wind just cleared out the entire uh, face of the hill, which then made it so it could, uh, well, it's kind of exposed a spot for the trail builders to use their uh, ingenuity and imagination to really carve out a nice pump track in there. All right, also my route, my running route, worked out pretty well. I got to this far point. It's just about exactly 45 minutes. I'm uh, losing time now as I walk and talk here, but um, also great. I'm gonna have a tailwind, so that should be nice. So I'm gonna get these carbs on board and then keep going. All right, so it uh, took a little exploring and bushwhacking, but I got, I've been wanting to find this trail, which is just on the east side of the railroad tracks that pass under uh, Golden Valley Road, but definitely uh, got a little tight in some spots, picked up some burrs. That's where we're headed though. That's familiar territory, that bridge. Up and out. All right, I'm about to scurry up that hill right there and back on trail, but I came across this pretty uh, significant erosion and uh, drainage that continues on down towards the railroad tracks, but it's crazy. Without uh, mitigation, this will just keep creeping further and further north. Uh, crazy. Okay. What's crazy is that is an hour and a half run, 90 minutes. I did some kind of squirreling around out at the far end. And I ended up getting back only a minute and a half after the goal time. It's just weird how the pace somehow perfectly worked out. And all the short cuts and long cuts and different cuts that I made. Today's soundtrack is uh, uh, I'm all tired, I can't think. It's 
by that physicist. ALS and just recently died. Uh, this is your uh, brain on low glucose. Okay, you can uh, continue to yell at your uh, YouTube screens for the correct answer. I can picture the cover of the book. I can picture the guy. I can remember he was... This made for a better uh, soundtrack than the Leonardo da Vinci book that I'm listening to. One of, there's just some great times. One of the times, only separated by commas, were Schrodinger, Schrodinger, Heisenberg, and Occam. So that was a fun moment. And then all those guys uh, were only paragraphs away from Einstein, who was uh, had a little beef with what they had come up with. And that's right around the time when Einstein said that God does not play dice. Meaning that there, he didn't think that there was a chance uh, component to the universe. Where those other guys, the simplest, the Occam honoring uh, explanation of some of uh, Heisenberg's and Schrodinger's observations and their thoughts was that things aren't always um, there's a chance of where something would be um, its position is only uh, known uh, glucose is not going well I can explain this but it's I gotta get some food. I gotta get the hype rice. It was a good run. A little depleted. Stephen Hawking. A brief history of time. And I remembered that. I didn't look it up. I'm not all gone.